Hello, my friends. So I've been asked to do a review of this thing we call Parler. So people are asking, hey, can Parler replace Facebook? And that is a great question. You know, a lot of folks are really upset. There are some folks that are upset that their content's not getting seen the way they want it to get seen, or they're having to pay for ads on Facebook. They're wanting a new method to do it. And people are asking me now, what is it going to take for Facebook to get replaced? Is this truly a Facebook replacer? So let's dig into it on this episode of Nerd Cheek. The first thing is, is you can see here Parler. It's interesting. I'm on my um, profile feed, which you click that corner thing, click profile, and you can find this content that's on my profile. It's all the Ask the Nerd stuff. And so I put it up here. And <clears throat> that's generally how the, the, the profile and timeline works. There's a picture area where you can find pictures. You can see followers, following comments, votes, that kind of thing. Um, which is good. You can There's a share button, which you can share the profile out. I get it. That's good. You've got a search function at the bottom, which if you look here, you can see um, the folks that are inside of this platform. It looks like a bunch of people who are content creators and most likely have not gotten the following or they've been pushed down or whatever by Facebook um, because and I'll explain in a minute, Facebook has a very real reason it does what it does. And so if you're a content creator, you can get your stuff seen here. There's hashtags people are looking for. <clears throat> you can see that. Um, I'm going to go over to the home button and go to feed. This is where you see a feed. You can click no echo. So it's not duplicated. And then you can see all and then subscribe, whatever you're subscribed to. I'm not subscribed to anything. I'm just testing out the platform so you can see the differences. So <clears throat> that's pretty much Parler in a nutshell. There's You've got the discover the news thing. And if you look, there's a there's this thing called partners. And these are the people that have, you know, paid to play and affiliates. And this is the stuff that they pull in from, quote, quote, their affiliated pages and news that they, you know, connect with. And, and this is all fine. I'm not making any comment on the information that's here. I'm just saying that there's a very real reason this functions the way it functions. These players right here, they're not getting what they want out of Facebook for sure. So it makes sense that they would be in here. And that's really what you're going to click to follow. And then you're going to see that in your news feed. As far as finding your friends on here, <clears throat> it's going to be challenging. You've got to go find your friends. You can search and use the search function and search people, you know, their names or whatever. Um, if you know them, you can use this little deal right here that allows you to take a picture of a QR code and get to them. But as far as like directly relating to folks inside of here and quickly connecting to them and finding possible friends that you're related to, it doesn't have any of that function. I'll talk about that in a second. So let's go over to Facebook and just talk about it. The first thing is Facebook has these alerts and you're seeing inside your alerts <clears throat> things you want to see. So like you're, you're seeing the people that you've interacted with first. You're not seeing anything in alerts that you haven't interacted with. I think that's very important. That's a very clear difference between Parler and Facebook. I'll talk about why that's important in just a second. It's also giving you suggested friends, friends you might know so that you can find people that you may be connected with, and that's a missing piece. So in essence, Parler isn't necessarily giving you alerts on what you've been doing and what is socially interacted with. They're giving information based on content, which leads me to my, my real big synopsis of it. It is a content distribution platform. It's not really social media. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, even TikTok, most of those others, they have a, a means of being truly social and the social interaction. Do they do they actually capture the the activity on post? Well, sure they do. They catch the activity. It's right there at the bottom. But so there's 16 people have seen it, no whatever, no shout outs, whatever, no comments, but their purpose isn't for that. It gives you stuff you can comment on and you can follow, but it's just it's different, guys. There's a different purpose here. And I'm making an argument here in just a second. So number one, you're not easily able to add your friend or find your friends. You've got to work for it a little bit. It's not as easy as Facebook. The alerts are not purposed in the same way like Facebook. They're purposed on getting content out versus on uh, increasing relationship 
between two people or a group of people. Also, your news feed. Now, in the news feed, you're seeing people that you've got favorited that you want to see first at the top. You've got some ads in here from businesses, which is what's made a lot of these other groups angry. Their pages, not their personal profile, but their pages could not be seen to get their stuff out, and they couldn't do ads that they wanted to do. I get it. But here's a sponsored ad. And then you've got more people that I've related to. These people are people I've got a relationship with. You see that? So let's talk about at the core what's going on here. What's going on on Facebook that's different from Parler and why does it matter? What's different is Facebook is truly a relationship management system or solution. If you're using Facebook just for business and you're just pushing out content, you'll never get the value out of it. You can do ads and anything else, but it's not as valuable. This proves the point. This proves the point that we have to be about not just content creation, but interacting with other people's content, having a relationship. That's what gets alerts over here and gets your alerts to other people. You interact with their stuff, they're going to interact with your stuff. Then they sh you show up in alerts. You get it? That's the purpose of this. Now, newsfeed, same thing. See first and you know their newest stuff, the folks you're related to, stuff you haven't interacted with over here. Stuff that your friends has interacted with that you're really close to. So you got favorite friends. Look, here's favorites. You can see all your favorites here right in a list that's up. You can see those. You can see recent. Facebook's doing this on purpose. Home is where you see the top most important things or what Facebook wants you to see they think is important for you. Um, recent is the most recent things and favorites are things you favorited and you can manage those. That's purposeful. That's relationship building. Over here in Parlor, you really don't have that. So at the core of it, let's talk about where I'm going to end today. Parlor is for content distribution. So if you're out there and you're out for content distribution and you're not getting your stuff seen on Facebook, this is probably for you. It's a good place for influencers and businesses. However, know this, you're not likely to reach new people in the same way as you would on Facebook. And then for those of you guys who are staying in Facebook, let's start treating Facebook the right way. Facebook is for what? It's for relationships. It's social media. Don't just put media out there. Be social about it. Interact with other people's stuff, and then they're going to interact with yours because that's what it's about. It's that interaction. Now, at the end of the day, you really have to choose what you want to do. I'm in both of them just because I'm going to be available. I'm going to send content to Parlor and interact with stuff and see if we can't get followers. But as far as where I build relationships and deepen my impression in people and become a true influencer, Facebook. So if you're already an influencer, you're already a brand, you probably should go over to Parler and get yourself an account and use it so you get seen through content distribution. If you're not, if you're a side hustle person, you've got a side hustle business, don't leave Facebook. You're going to lose out on a lot of business later. All right? So that's it for Nerd Cheek today. Remember, we've got the Ask the Nerd podcast where I do a lot of these things um, weekly and share these kinds of things. Reach out and ask us for things, and we'll do them on here just like folks ask for this. I will do your stuff. Don't forget to subscribe, share this, and go see the Ask the Nerd website at askthenerd.net where there's tons more resources and you can find our mobile apps. You guys have a good one.